Morning everybody, thanks for joining me. So uh, this morning we're on the River Dart in South Devon looking for dippers. Um, so this is a wonderful stretch of river uh, that comes straight off Dartmoor and cuts down through uh, South Devon and uh, eventually ends up in the sea. So we're just outside um, a town called Totnes at the moment and a um, bit of an overcast day, not too chilly. It's quite pleasant actually. Um, lots of uh, frozen water still around. It was bitterly cold yesterday, um, but it's actually quite pleasant. I think the only drawback today is we don't have any uh, nice sunlight. It's pretty overcast and gray, but um, I don't think that will affect us too badly today. So um, as you can see, got a bit of a meaty setup. Uh, today using the Z6 with the um, Sigma 150 to 600 and also got the uh, the Ninja V um, for audio we're recording um, using the uh, Rode NTG4 um, shotgun mic and that's recording uh, into the Zoom H6 so hopefully we'll get some fantastic shots and some great footage um, I know that there are dippers um, along this stretch of river. Um, I've not photographed or filmed them before, so uh, this will this will be the first time. Um, might also see a mandarin duck along here, which would be quite uh, quite special. They're pretty spectacular. Um, may well see kingfisher. There are definitely kingfisher along here. I can hear green woodpecker um, in the woods over there. So what we're going to do today is just work our way up the river um, and, uh, you know, get as far as we can up there and uh, then might well make our way back down again. Um, we're not in any rush. It's one of those rare days when the family are off doing their own, their own things today. So um, I've got the whole day. Got a nice new um, AeroPress uh, coffee maker for Christmas, so I'll be using that. I've um, got a couple of wonderful black pudding and apple pork sausage rolls, um, which I look forward to for lunch. But at the moment, we're focused on this uh, tree trunk, this fallen tree that's here in, in the river. Um, there's quite a few uh, ducks on there at the moment, um, but I think it's a pretty good spot for uh, dippers. A bit further up, there's some... I wouldn't exactly call them rapids, but some faster moving water. Um, we might uh, might find some up there as well. But yeah, it's a lovely day and um, I'm looking forward to it. We haven't got a huge amount of action going on at the moment other than ducks. And lots of small birds flying around. Haven't seen any dippers yet. I've only been here about half an hour or so, so I'm not ready to move just yet. There's plenty to see, just not necessarily what we've come for. So taking a, uh, a walk up river now, I um, saw very little from where I was, which is unfortunate. But there's a lot of dogs around, um, jumping in the water, which didn't help. So um, yeah, we're going to go further up river where there's some more uh, sort of fast flowing water, which hopefully will be a better situation for the dippers. Okay, great news. We found our first dipper. In fact, I think there's two down there. So this is great news. They're a bit um, too tied up in the weeds at the moment for any decent stills. But I think we're getting some nice footage there.
that's really great to find this dipper. It's taken me quite a long time. I mean, it's five past one and we got down here at nine o'clock and I've had really nothing. Um, I walked up and down the river and could see nothing. Um, but I was looking for a spot where there were some branches or a log or something in the, uh, in the river where I thought uh, it would give them a good position to perch. And uh, so I set myself down here. I didn't actually see the, uh, the dipper, just set myself down here. And um, yeah, along, uh, along it came. So that's absolutely fantastic. I am chuffed to bits with that. Okay, so fantastic. We've got some really good dipper action going on. We've got um, two dippers. One, I'm going to presume, is the male on the log in front of me, absolutely singing his heart out. The female, I'm, again, an assumption, I think is coming in and joining him on the log. I was getting to the point where I didn't think we were going to get anything. We've got dippers on the other side of the river in the um, overhanging branches and foliage there. Definitely got one, pretty sure there's two in there. Yeah. Yeah, there's definitely two in there. Absolutely fantastic. Absolutely love them. Right guys, we're, uh, we're losing the light a little bit now. So um, I think it might be time to, uh, to pack up. Um, I think a great day all in all. Um, I think after a really dodgy morning when we didn't see anything other than ducks, when the uh, dippers turned up, they, uh, they really didn't disappoint. I think what a fantastic little bird. Um, I think seeing the uh, the male dipper, if I'm right in that, um, singing his heart out on that log and doing his best to uh, entice that female in, I think was a highlight. Um, but yeah, it's just such a buzz, isn't it, when you know what you've been after eventually turns up. Um, beautiful location. We'll be spending uh, quite a bit more time here. And um, yeah, I think just a, a cracking little bird, absolutely fantastic. Very much like a kingfisher. Seeing them uh, fly at surface level, um, you just see that sort of flash of light of their uh, flash of white of their chest, very similar to a kingfisher. So um, all in all, pretty happy with that for the day. Um, hope you've enjoyed it. It's been great having you with me. Um, if you've liked the uh, the video please consider giving it a like and uh, consider subscribing. And um, I shall look forward to seeing you uh, in the next one. All right, take care, cheers, bye.